What's up everybody, it's The Offspring with Farming Simulator 2015 Mods, and today's mod showcase we have an awesome, awesome selection of mods, guys. I know I say that pretty much in all my mod showcases because I show nothing but good mods, and uh, these are some good mods, and uh, whoa, I just had like a weird flicker in this map. Um, these two, I believe, are uh, edited, updated versions, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, another one is as well. But uh, let's go into it. Let's start off with this one. I believe this one is a little bit underscaled. Um, I'm going to scale this guy up a lot. Uh, that guy is a little overscaled, as you can see. Like, that's monster truck status. But it should be... I don't know. Let's see. Let's compare it to this one. It should be around the size of this truck to, the, to this size. Like, this size right here. It should be kind of like just a tad bit bigger. Like, but, th but this is a really, really good truck. I've been seeing it around, circulating and whatnot, and it's a really good truck. Mega cab, it looks like. Short bed. Oh, cool, you can lift the toolbox. That's nice. Mouse button. And I also believe, yeah, you can uh, change the levels of uh, the hitch. As you can see, you can change that. That's nice. I like that. Got really good tires on as well. Whoever did this did a good job. Tops out at 70. I'm gonna scale this guy up. Looks like a great truck. I'm just just needs a scale job done to her. Very beautiful truck. Alright. For some reason went dark time on me. Oh look at that. I didn't even notice that. That the uh it's got a dirt dirty texture on it, so like if it stays on or whatever or you you know stay in the vehicle for a while, it'll get nice and dirty so you can wash it. Because this sucker is dirty. Hopefully the daylight should come back on. I don't know why it went dark time. Whoa. Gotta turn them freaking flashy lights off. Whoa. Alright. Next up, <clears throat> sorry about that, we have this tow truck. Kind of looks like it came out of SketchUp, but it's decent. I mean, there's nothing really of its kind. It'll be good for role playing. Oh wow, look at that. Makes no sense though, unless you can. Alright, so that thing like moves all the way down or whatever, let's see, yeah, this thing like moves, but I'm confused as what you can do, like, is it just for show or, or what, oh, no interior view, wonderful, got a telephone, The flashing lights don't work on it though. I don't know, it'd be cool. It's cool for show and stuff. I don't know what this kind of does, but <laughs> if any of you guys know, let me know. Let's go up to this Chevy right here. This old school Chevy looks really nice. It's gonna be a good hauler. That lag, baby. That lag. Oh, it's got a locking script on it, too. Let's 
I'm having a serious mod conflict right now. I'm looking at my log as we speak. And, uh, I don't know, dude. I think it's, it's something with the alpha version of this map. Uh, that, for some odd reason, that some mods conflict with this map. So, it's the only bad part. I can't get this thing to hook up. Does the thing only work on, like, semi-truck trailers? Cause look, I'm like right lined up on the ball and I don't see nothing. Maybe I just locked the load? No. Well then, so much for that. Really thought I was going to be able to haul something with this, but it's got nice suspension on it. It rocks. I like that. Top speed's at 56. Beautiful looking truck though, for sure. Very nice looking rig. Reminds me of the one that came out in 2013. Now all somebody's got to do is just make this into a pick em up truck. Nice rig though. Really nice rig. Give me a nice hauler. No interior view, but the truck itself does it looks pretty good. Alright, next up we have this little edit right here, this uh, F-350 short bed dually. It looks like a short bed, that's why I say that. I don't know, it could be a long bed. I don't know. I mean, everybody's got different scales for their stuff, but a lot of duallys I noticed in this game look like short beds. They don't look very long on the bed. <laughs> this looks like an edit of that one that just got released. Somebody just put the regular semi truck Alcoas on it. Oh look, the uh, thing raises on this one too. Didn't even know that. Both of these trucks, the hitches move downward and upwards. Nice. See? Do -do -do Alright. Dodge 12 valve. Beautiful rig. Power Ram D250. Cummins Turbo Diesel. Got the Kumans, or people say Cummings. Oh god, I hate that when people say Cummings. Makes me want to just throat punch them. <laughs> Not in reality, but I would like to, you know, in my head, throat punch them for saying Cummings. It's like, do you see a G in Cummins, buddy? When I go in here, d does that say Cummings, or does it say Cummins? <laughs> it's like, what the heck, bro? I like this rig though. It's an updated version of it. Leave the other one as a stack on it. I would love a Power Ram D250 extended cab so bad. I found saw one on the road, guys. And I also saw this crazy like semi truck service bed thing. It was crazy. It was like 1950s and stuff thing was crazy old Chevy truck hauling a big freaking boat I got derbies on my floor 
This is the one with the uh, single stack. So you can roll that coal. Unless you wanna, if you can't roll coal in your truck, guys, and really wanna roll coal, all you gotta do is stick an airbag on your fuel, on your uh, air filter, plastic bag on your uh, air filter. You'll get all the chutes you need <laughs> and destroy your rig. Or just take out your turbo hose. Boom! Dodge rocks you, Ford. Just kidding. I like how I got two exhausts. Whoever did my uh, stack job at the uh, mechanic shop forgot to take my old exhaust off. So this one hooks up, but we ain't going no way. I think this trailer is just glitched. Because it's like not going anywhere. But, that'll be it for this mod showcase, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a huge like and comment. And uh, make sure, you know, check out for the newest videos coming up. Uh, started back school again, so I might have to slow down just a tad bit. But uh, don't worry, guys. Never stop in the channel. Never stop in YouTube. All the haters can go away and troll themselves. And all. I, I haven't heard the word butthurt since 2020. 10 2011 when like kids were like 14 15 trolling on 4chan and stuff and now these kids i guess these people in these facebook groups i found out what the word butthurt means and they're trying to go around and act like they're all 13 years old just pissing people off for no apparent reason just to get them quote unquote butthurt it's it's pretty pathetic but i mean you know thanks to them uh, i don't feel comfortable you know releasing right now and uh, I just, I don't know, you know, sometime in the future, yeah, but I'm going to have to work out a way to where, you know, these idiot haters and random people, like, they're hating on everybody, like Joe Lindbergh going to, t I don't know, it's just ridiculous, freaking ridiculous, people ain't got nothing else better to do with their day besides hate on successful people because they have no talent whatsoever to get their name out, so they have to pretty much hate on somebody who's doing something right. Because either they can't mod themselves and they're mad because all they can do is edit and they're pissed off because Joe won't release mods when he has all right to not release his stuff because he created and took the time and the money to make whatever he did. So he has all the rights to rele not release and I, I fully you know stand behind Joe Lindbergh on not releasing because who would want to release with these kids coming after us and stuff you know what I mean it's ridiculous it's like these kids have nothing better to do so you know what I mean now and now that I told <laughs> told these kids uh, these hater kids that are like oh we're gonna upload all your mods I'm like alright well I'm done releasing and now they're like well you can't make a mod private and I'm like why I'm like I made it like we can keep it private no matter what like me and Mason can keep it private like if, if, if these haters are going to act like this, like, it's ridiculous. But thank you guys for the overwhelming amounts of support. I bet you one of you guys checked your phone just now. But that was me. I'm a, I guess I'm a popular person. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, but yeah, guys, I appreciate all the support and all the awesome stuff you guys have been sending me. And I've been playing with you guys on multiplayer. And uh, I apologize if I can't play with all of you guys. You know what I mean? I'm doing my best uh, to play with, you know, as many people as I can throughout, throughout the day, you know, give or take, you know, farming simulator, GTA 5, or whatever. Whatever you guys, you know, or I'm on at the moment, and you guys are playing with me, so. I have, I have really good times playing with you guys, and I'm, I'm so glad to be able to interact with you guys. And that's the main thing that I will always do, and I don't see why other YouTubers don't interact, but, but whatever. I mean... I'd like to play with you guys if you guys want to play some multiplayer, so Snapchat me guys, Scorkin, or uh, all my social media like Facebook and Instagram is Offspring Gaming. So I'll see you guys in the next video, we'll play some games, and uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.